Okay, I'm Niwaili Mtui. I'm a veterinarian working with uh, FAO Tanzania, and I'm working as an epidemiologist um, at the country office. And um, I've been um, uh, working on uh, uh, su supporting surveillance of prioritized zoonotic diseases. Uh, including uh, rabies. So I'm based at the uh, country office, Tanzania. And uh, as you may see, Tanzania is in the Eastern Africa uh, region. And it's a country which is rich in um, uh, biodiversity. And uh, the country has set about 2% of its land for protection. And um, you find that is the country where there is the highest point of Africa, where Mount Kilimanjaro is. And the country did uh, prioritize uh, zoonotic diseases. And this is where it was mainly to uh, make sure that they have uh, one health uh, sector set to build capacities for detection, prevent prevention and control. And during that prioritization exercise, uh, six diseases were identified. And rabies came up as the, yes, okay. So six diseases, zoonotic diseases, came up as the highest priority where they will be used as a model for one health uh, uh, sector's uh, capacity building. And rabies came up as the uh, first disease in that ranking. And the prioritization was done on, in 2017. And since then, the country has been uh, developing uh, capacities to control all the priority diseases. And the rabies is one of them. And the, uh, the country has developed a rabies control strategy. And this strategy was developed with a multi-sectoral approach in mind. And a number of uh, ministries, including livestock, um, public health, and also the wildlife sectors participated, but, but also NGOs, research and academic institutions, but also development partners, including FAO and WHO, worked hard to ensure that this uh, strategy is developed. And the strategy sets out the timelines and also the stages uh, for the progressive control of the rabies so that by 2030, the disease is uh, controlled or rather eliminated. And uh, the, the, the country is also zoned. We there are, they, they are uh, seven zones. So zone A and B are the major ones. And these are the zones where there had been... Uh, so the country has been zoned and we have, I'll only concentrate on zone A and B. And zone A and B are the zones where there had been a major effort in the control of the disease. Zone A, there had been a Bill and Melinda Gates project, which ended in 20, uh, 2005, I think. Uh, it, it ended to 2015. And then you have uh, uh, zone B, where we have a Serengeti uh, uh, carnival project, which a number of activities are still going on. And uh, the rest of zones are around these two major zones where there had been a lot of effort with regard to vaccination, strategic vaccination, but also immunization in the uh, humans that were exposed but to also in terms of sensitization, uh, lab capacity building, there has been a lot of uh, activities over five years until 2015. And even this strategy was mainly uh, uh, due to uh, uh, implementation of that Bill and Melinda Gates project. And this is a strategy for Tanzanian mainland. And you know, Tanzania is the union of Tanzania mainland and Zanzibar. So there is another strategy for, uh, for Tanzania, Zanzibar, but I'm only uh, showing this one, which is of mainland. And I've just sampled only a few activities that FAO has supported over the uh, past few years. 
But uh, just to give you an overview, rabies was first documented in 1932-33 there. And uh, since then, a number of efforts have been uh, undertaken. But of recently, since uh, it has been a lot of uh, effort that had put in place, and including the development of the strategy. And the, um, it is estimated that almost 1,500 1, human deaths have been happening annually due to rabies, and 98% of those are attributable to rabid domestic dog. And so FAO decided to uh, support because FAO does its activity aligned to the government priorities. And since rabies was identified as one of the prioritized zoonotic disease, so FAO had been uh, supporting the government on that. And in 2018, we supported the particularly Moshi rural district uh, where they had been vaccinating and the vaccination coverage was estimated to be around 18%. And in that year, there were a number of um, confirmed cases of rabies in livestock, specifically cattle, but also in dogs and also some uh, casualties, uh, fatalities in human were reported. And so we, um, uh, organized a multi-sectoral um, activity where we supported uh, awareness raising, sensitization, but also vaccination. And we were able to cover more than 70% uh, vaccination in the targeted um, area. But since then, we had not uh, received any information with regard to confirmed rabies case, both in humans and animals, but we are still uh, monitoring. And uh, this was a multi sectoral coordination uh, activity implemented based on uh, one health approaches, and it did significantly improve the efficiency of all intervention against the rabies. Another activity we supported was this year. We've been uh, uh, supporting a number of activities, but I have only sampled these two. Another activity we supported this year, and uh, this one was in Kisarawe. Kisarawe is in the um, eastern arm of the country and where we supported a five-day activity and we did vaccination, but also we had raised the awareness um, uh, and sensitized the, the community and we were able to uh, vaccinate 60% of the animals over that uh, five-day period. And this was the first time that we did um, also collaborate with GAC, and the, specifically, we had a number of people who did uh, those education programs under GAC, but also we used the GAC data logger, and we were able to track the vaccination uh, uh, on the real time. And, um, uh, and also, rabies formed an important uh, disease for experiential learning, especially for the future One Health workforce. In both activity in Moshi and Kisarawe, we engaged uh, uh, university students, the future workforce uh, uh, in the activity. So both veterinarians and the medical students and even the environmental health students were able to participate in these activities. So I think it was a very uh, important uh, disease to have those uh, future One Health to have the experiential learning. But at the same time, we were able to achieve uh, the, 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 the vaccination coverage uh, of, for that particular district. And the, normally we support for five days, but the district continue with vaccination. And for now, they have achieved more than 90% of the uh, targeted uh, population. And you can see the map also showing uh, showing where the vaccination was undertaken based on uh, recorded uh, data in the data log. Okay, but you, in addition to uh, undertaking the campaigns, rabies has been a case disease in joint risk assessment. And the, the GRIA is designed to address shared health risk threats at human animal environment interface by jointly assessing specific priority to not disease risk. And the, this uh, uh, GRIA had been jointly organized by One Health Coordination Desk 
and it has been in collaboration with the tripartite, but it was piloted in 2019, but then rolled out in Arusha and Zanzibar. And it's mainly rabies that was identified as one of the case disease. And the, uh, having an, assessed the disease, you kind of, so through the GRA, you have a risk question that you assess. And for one of the questions that was assessed, it was like, uh, what is the likelihood and impact of at least one child in southeastern Tanzania today following a bite from rabid animal for that specific time? And we saw the, uh, the One Health experts assessed that risk and then were able to um, characterize it in terms of uh, saying its likelihood and the impact, but also that was based on the risk pathway that they had uh, developed. And this is uh, more of a discussion and reaching consensus based on the local knowledge, but also uh, the, the, the literature that is also existing. So those um, uh, experts, they share, they also um, discuss and they agree. And even in the, in the, the process, they identify uh, uh, areas where they really need uh, more efforts to make. And the, they come up with the risk communication option and also mitigation options. So over the time we've been able to uh, develop awareness and sensitization materials, several of them, but we have also been able to use different platforms to be able to uh, address issues related to rabies. So here we have a number of uh, materials, but also in the process we've been able to engage high level management at different levels, at district, but at also ministerial levels. And we've been using print, but also electronic um, uh, materials to reach out for community sensitization, awareness, but also engagement. Yes, we've also been able to publish whatever we've been able to uh, 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 implement. Thank you very much.